People often say to me, you know, what's your secret? How do you keep up to date? Where do you get your insights from? Well, let me, let me uh, tell you a secret. Uh, there are no fast, easy methods of doing it, but there's a combination. And I can tell you my own. For a start, every single day that I can, I will read three big newspapers. The best I can buy in the country, wherever I am. And you know what? I'm not just interested in mainstream stuff, I'm interested in any stuff. And some of the most interesting stuff in the newspapers is the classified ads. If I go into a new country, the first thing I want to see is who's selling what, to whom, how much does it cost to buy a property. It's all in those classified ads. Have a look. At, but the, the three papers that I would read, well, there'd be two big British papers, uh, mainstream daily papers and the Financial Times. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, each week I'd be looking to, treat, to read The Economist. In addition to that, uh, The New Scientist, uh, plus Scientific American, plus a whole stack of other stuff. And wherever I go, I graze. So every time I go through an airport, which is probably 100, 120 times a year, 130 times a year, I'll be buying stuff. Not every time, but quite a lot of the time. I just buy stuff. Stuff that attracts my attention. Stuff that's unusual. Stuff that's a bit odd. Stuff that's a bit off-beam. Stuff that's a bit geeky. And the more unusual it is, the more interesting it can be. And I won't buy the stuff maybe more than once in every few months. But just sampling, 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 sampling. Listening to what's happening. So listening, watching, sitting in cafes for hours. Just watching what's happening. What are people ordering? Who are they talking to? Why did they come? What's the story here? What's it about? What are the family dynamics going on? Staying with people in their homes, getting out of hotels. Hotels are the worst places to discover the future. Uh, listening to taxi drivers, an absolutely invaluable source of information. Taxi drivers are the earliest warning sign of a downturn or an upturn in any economy. They smell it. And often they've got extraordinary stories to tell about the people they've had in their cabs and what's really going on in their cities. They've got all the inside intelligence that you could dream for and die for. It's just sitting there waiting to be tapped in every taxi journey that you take, every cab driver, every chauffeur, whatever it is. Just listen to these people and the stories come tumbling out. So it's reading, it's listening, it's watching, and perhaps most importantly of all, it's being intensely curious about the lives of every single person that it's your privilege to meet. What makes them tick? What are they doing? Why did they do that? What, why did they change that in the last few weeks and months? What are they doing now? What do they wish they were doing in the future? Uh, it's a, an intense interest about not just what they do, but how they do it. Where are they working? What kind of office environment is it? What technology are they doing? That sounds really interesting. I've not heard that before. And whether it's a, a new method of producing a light bulb, it may seem boring to you, but to me it's lifeblood, it's fascinating, utterly astonishing. Um, it may be a, a new way of dyeing a carpet, it might be um, a new way of upholstering a chair, it could be something as odd as formulating a new kind of paint, it could be um, uh, a, a, a new way of providing legal advice or a, a change in taxation which is going to uh, perhaps uh, affect the kinds of people that want to come and live in the country and work. It could be changes in immigration policy, it could be uh, someone in government um, using uh, 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 computers in a new way to provide services uh, for healthcare. Uh, goodness knows what it is, but the world is an astonishing and fascinating and ever-changing place and it's a great privilege to try and run after it as it's accelerating into the future and also to listen to those who are coming back from the future with new products and services and coming into today's world and dragging people into a future which is in their imagination which they're excited about but they want to bring people into. So it's these history makers as well that provide invaluable insights. And I guess it's my privilege to work with a huge number of different industries. One day I might be with Google, the next day with Microsoft, the next day with BP, the next day, next day with a packaging company like, uh, like Rexham or uh, it could be um, Tetra Pak. Uh, the, a day after that it could be with Saks Fifth Avenue uh, on, on retail and, and the following week it could be with the government of Kazakhstan, the day after that it could be with a private bank in Ukraine and then off to India, working with the AIDS organization my wife and I founded 20 years ago, um, and then back uh, to Australia to do uh, another event, and so on. And in these opportunities, in each one of them, are, um, are, are uh, extraordinary um, pieces of fruit to be plucked, 
containing enormously rich insights, which are just there for the taking. If only we have the energy, persistence and uh, passion to carry on looking. And then I guess it's a question of putting the lot together. And that, for, that, for that you need a, a, a coherent worldview, a structured approach. And uh, I use the structure which is contained in FutureWise. It spells the word future, F-U-T-U-R-E, fast, speed of change, urban, demographics, fashions and fads, tribal, groups, uh, politics, uh, uh, brands, teams, neighborhoods, countries, um, universal, globalization and all the rest. Radical, uh, single issue activism and the death of traditional politics. The rise of new movements, new issues, whether it's global warming or um, genetically modified food or it could be um, uh, disclosure of, of financial uh, uh, interests, whatever it is. And then finally, how do you live in this crazy world, this fast, urban, tribal, universal radical, we need ethics, values. And that is the most important phase of the future. It's to do with what's inside us, the passions we have, and what's important to us. And when we put all of those things together, uh, we begin to see a framework. We begin to see you know, packs of cards that can be shuffled in under these different phases, and you begin to see a coherent picture form. And all the time, uh, you're recalibrating it. So every meeting, every conversation, every newspaper article, every TV program is recalibrating, refining, retuning that view.